In the movie The Wizard of Oz, one of the most none of this is real moments is on full display when upon finally reaching the land of Oz, a little dog by the name of Toto exposes the great and powerful Oz for what he truly is, an elderly man with no special powers at all. Can anyone say none of this is real? Of course, to me, the greatest line in that movie is Oz trying to tell Dorothy and her friends to look the other way when exposed to the real truth of his lack of powers. Sounds like the same response savers receive from the financial world when their 401k takes a nosedive when the stock market tanks. So with so many financial products and financial peddlers offering so many smoke and mirror ideas on retirement, how can a saver pull the curtain back to see if the products and services being offered are real or not? Well, that's easy. The only tool used to effectively detect reality from falsehood is the tool of wisdom. And while the world behind the curtain might define wisdom as one having good sense, judgment, or insight, I feel that wisdom is more than just that. In my own experience, I've found that wisdom must be acquired from those who are wise. For instance, God. So let's pull the curtain back on what God has to say about His wisdom and how to acquire it, where in the book of Proverbs, wisdom is mentioned some 46 times. Speaking of trying to find wisdom, Earlier in the show, I described all that I went in through the years to acquire financial wisdom from folks who I felt knew a lot more about money and had more financial wisdom about the financial world than I did. I was relying on Proverbs 1.5 to guide me in this quest, which basically said this about acquiring wisdom. A wise man will hear an increase in learning, and a man of understanding will acquire wise counsel. But that's not what most humans do when pursuing truth because, well, most of us tend to think we already know it all, especially as evidenced by all the folks on radio, TV, and the internet who think they know it all. So how can someone looking for God's wisdom approach God? Well, to find out, we need to go to the previous verse, verse 4, where it says, To acquire God's wisdom, we are, we are to approach God as a child and as one who is simple in nature. In other words, in order for God to impart to us His wisdom, we must be humble in how we approach Him. You see, God's truth does not hide and work behind a curtain, but rather it is right before our eyes and makes itself evident to the humble searching for God's wisdom in two ways. First, His truth is self-evident by the many things we see around us. The list of God's truth and wisdom is certainly all around us. Just look. And then secondly, his truth is made self-evident by his very spirit, a spirit that Paul firmly believed in Ephesians 1.18 could open our eyes to what is the real hope of our calling in Christ Jesus. But the paradox is that in order to have our eyes enlightened to God's wisdom and to see what it is he wants us to see, we are not to look at what is seen from the things of the world. For instance, that would be that 401k statement you keep looking at, and its real value keeps bouncing around like a yo-yo, to thinking the money you see on that statement is, well, actually real. You see, friend, it is the unseen things of God is revealed by His Spirit that allows God to pull the curtain back to see what is real, that is, His truth, which is what real wisdom really is. So in your search for truth and God's wisdom, might I suggest start with the book of Proverbs and read it as a child might read it and look for the simplicity of what it reveals to you, because in it is some real wisdom on life and money that you and I can take to the bank. Amen? Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like, check out these other clips and be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button for more videos.